Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV and this lovely sunny spring morning. Well, I'm in Oxfordshire. There's blossom on the trees and, uh, well, I'm in uh, a little suburb of the uh, university town. Come to see not the Mediterranean fish bar or that delicious destination grade worthy flipping delicatessen next door, but no, the best delicatessen and the finest smorgasbord provider for audio in the whole of the home counties. Oxford Car Audio. Now these guys are a very special part of the world. They don't just fettle cars and fix bits to them. They're actually magicians in audio. These guys have won competitions for how good they are. Anyway, enough of me blithering. Let's go inside and have a little look at this fabulous Emporium. Now this is Heritage. This used to be Marston Auto Parts. And there are still geezers in classic cars who pull up at this parade expecting to find certain things and the shop's changed. Oh, look, but we still have it. <laughs> so it's a car audio shop that still does various car things. Lady suspension. Look at the uh, quality of these uh, base boxes here. This is um, Alpine. And also the amazing JL Audio Super Skinny Stealth Boxes. You'll hardly know that's in the car, but my God, they'll shake your world. Cabinets filled with goodies. Great big units. And uh, what is kind of crucial is that they're all plugged in and live and you can uh, have a little look at the displays and see what they do. Inside the shop and typical of a high quality stock the Alpine SWE815 a small active subwoofer with just a chip amp like one in your head unit that means it uses very little electricity. You see these two little tabs at the bottom? Well if you pull it out there's a port that is exposed and what that means you can either use it sealed going a little bit deeper or ported going a little bit louder. Now, talk about final points of comfort for the customers. There's a lovely comfy sofa and a flaming great TV. In this case, running for music. Bit of an advert running there. Right next to the posh Dale audio stand with the Morel authorised dealer label upon it. Various other bits of display. Gosh, let's go and have a little look at that beetle. What a beautiful thing to have in your shop. Nestled in a corner by the JL Audio poshest stock. The legendary beetle. Of Oxford Car Audio. There's stuff I've done about this. It's got the most amazing JL Audio system inside here. And the most beautiful, beautiful graffiti finish to it. A wet sanded, awesome, glossy paintwork by a graffiti artist, I think called Kleiner Shames. And if we just poke yeah. our head through the door, yeah. whoops, a little. You should be able to see another lot of. Yeah. speakers and stuff but yeah this is just to show what these guys can do any of you electricians out there 12 volts a thousand watts you're gonna start looking a bit dreamy and go but you'd need power wires as thick as your thumb and you do and Oxford car audio know about fitting them. and these days if you really want to be trendy and cool and get everything air suspension is a big thing I, I'm a little old for that myself but hey, if you want to find out about uh, gas power suspension, Oxford Car Audio can do that for you too. There are parts from the good old folks at Celsius Ice for all of the wiggly woggly pluggy teeny bits that you might possibly ever need. God, that's the noise of a car's being moved on its suspension. They're changing the wheels on the Alpine Demo Mercedes. But yes, here in the uh, main workshop of Oxford, Oxford, Oxford Car Audio, they're busy working on all sorts of stuff. Oh, the lovely V8 by turbo now. But yeah, no matter what it is, whether it's uh, a loom or a clever little bit of weird plastic moulding that absolutely perfectly fits to your car, Oxford Car Audio will have it in stock. That means it's that proper one-stop shop. Righty ho, well this is a very rare facility in English car audio because this is a specialist wood room. Those boxes, well I better zoom back out of them because they're secret. Ooh, all you saw was the Alpine logo. Yep, these guys are entrusted with some very serious stuff from the likes of Alpine and other things because they do their demonstration vehicles. But just check out the equipment in here. This is the stuff that would make the average hobbyist who reads Talk Audio, which is the uh, magazine website I work on for car audio enthusiasts. That'll make them hurt with one because there's every single possible woodworking tool you could wish for. And if you come around here, we're going to find 
the boss and the youngest and newest edition of the staff by the name of Will. Hello, people. Um, tell us about this man on the left-hand side of the picture, then, because your man, Will, well, you're new, aren't you, Will? I am indeed, yeah. How long have you been in these? Uh, since June last year. So uh, that's only relatively recent, isn't it? Cause, um, and are you described as an apprentice? To educate me. I'll shut up. Talk to me, guys. Apprentice, um, new recruit, um, junior. There's no real um, There's no thing title. that can encapsulate him. Um, <laughs> he's uh, great for getting stuff down. We don't need to use the steps as much. He's always uh, happy to work late. Um, <laughs> he's, he's an employer he's, flipping he's, benefits. He's, he's hard working. He's a human yeah, crane. He's abused. Yeah. So, so the fact that he's enormously talented, fabulously keen, and you're enormously proud to have him Very. is the stuff I've actually got to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How terribly British of us. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, meet Will, the newest addition to the Oxford Car Audio team. And um, well, if he's going to end up with golden ears, I'm going to be completely unsurprised because you guys don't just do fabulous things with work. You, uh, well, as a certain Mr. Mike Organ said, he's a real audio guru, he said, Lem works magic. And Will's going to be a part of that. So here you have it. Well, I think it's probably the best fabrication room in all of British car audio. Now, I've only just sort of really found out about this, and uh, this is a video about Oxford Car Audio, and, well, this is Lem, um, uh, surname Le Mesure. It was just shortened to Lem by, uh, what, was that at school? Everyone. <laughs> How long ago was that, Steve? Uh, yeah, school. I End was of school. I was seven. Um, and this is your S5. What a desirable car. It's very red. And, and you just made a confession to me, which made it perfectly clear that you're exactly in accordance with... Um, the guy who was on Top Gear reviewing the latest Porsche. Go on, explain why you bought this one. Um, <laughs> because I'm still a big kid, and even though I could have just about afforded the V6, uh, I wanted the V8. So the V6 is a newer car? Slightly newer, and um, technically with a few mods can be more powerful, but it won't ever sound the same as a V8. So <laughs> I went for the V8, because I'm just a big kid. And absolutely, your world is ruled by quality sound, and the sound of a V8 moves your soul. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Come to Oxford Car Audio and uh, get your kit installed by people for whom sound is important to the very core of their whole being. Thanks, Lem. Who does this car belong to, Mark? Uh, the chap's called Aaron Knott. And he's uh, a bit of a chippy, has made all your lovely cabinets in your... Yeah. yeah and in return, friend. you did this. Indeed. Yeah. Um, I believe that's the biggest amplifier Alpine ever made. Yeah, currently they don't make this one anymore. The MRX 2400D. And that's 2.4 kilowatts? At 2 ohm, yeah, that's correct. Whoa. And tell us about these 15s, these are huge. So these are the SWR, uh, oh, sorry, the, the dual twos. So there's dual a, two ohm voice calls, meaning lots and lots of places to connect speaker wires. Put your hand on it so people can see how big they are. It's huge, look at this, a 15 inch dustbin lids. Um, and there is one thing actually I would like to demonstrate. They're so efficiently connected if you push one woofer in, the electromotive force moves the other one. So give it a give it a couple of shoves. Look at that as it pushes in. And that's an important enclosure as well. Yes. So there's not the breeze. That is just electromotive force and high efficiency from Alpine woofers. Dude, Oxford Car Audio, you guys flipping rock. I bet this is capable of offending people about 500 yards. Yes. Yeah. No, it's pretty. Um, for what it is, really actually quite good for uh, the Type R woofers. But what it is, it's really actually quite good. In Very normal good. language, that translates as, this makes enough bass to wake <laughs> up your grandmother's ancestors. Yeah, you can hear it coming down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. No worries. Cheers. In typical Rainer fashion, I've uh, said goodbye about an item on this car, but um, you've got to see this. Of course, lovely bucket seat, but when you look in the back, the guy has got, um, what is that stuff called, Mark? Okay, so this is a full air ride system. Uh, this is on the new Airlift 3P. Uh, it's got the twin 444 compressors in black uh, and this is actually the first vehicle to feature with the Spurn Alley tanks. Um, those are actually the real small seamless tanks that they do. Um, there's actually another larger tank hidden underneath the full boot build. I heard that was a really, really challenging build because um, you'd already done the base, the boot, the boot box in the first place. Yeah, sure. So the customer already had obviously had the uh, custom install and then decided he wanted air. So, not many people are expecting to see that behind the sub box. Ridiculous. Oh yes. And in the meanwhile, right in the front there. It's ILX 700. ILX 700, one of Alpine's finest. Indeed. So one hell of an installation here from Oxford Car Audio. Thanks Mark.
just 